So there we have it, guys. The brand new Champions League format is here. The draw was live at 5 p.m. today, and I'm bringing you this video literally as soon as it is finished because I'm very excited. Not only is the new format just something new, a little bit confusing, but there are a lot of, I guess, higher quality games that we're going to be able to watch, even as neutrals. It's harder for the top teams and arguably for the lower teams as well. But in general, there's some positives and negatives. One of the things I'm thinking of right now is eight games. It's a, it's a lot. Um, the group stage was obviously a little bit more forgiving in that way. But the new league format is here. We have to embrace it and let's see how it goes in its first season. So we're looking at Arsenal's Champions League draw here. If you don't know how it works, I'm not going to sit here and explain it. It sounds complicated and it looks crazy. I mean, if I just quickly show you what we can look at in a minute. Yeah, um, but it's not too bad if you actually understand what's happening here. So we've gone from group stage, <clears throat> excuse me, group stage to league stage, league format. We will be facing PSG at home, Inter Milan away, Shakhtar Donetsk at home, Atalanta away. That's two trips to Italy. We've then got Dynamo Kiev at home, Sporting away, Monaco at home, and then Girona away. So straight off the bat, Arsenal fans, what are we thinking? I am very happy with this. Do you know why? Inter, Atalanta, Sporting, and Girona being the away games, all very close. Okay, we've got two Italian trips, Italian trips? Italy trips, one Portugal trip, and one Spanish trip. We're not going crazy distances and do you know what they're good tests as well they're not going to be those kind of do you know those awkward games where the manager might think oh, I could probably play a few of the the academy boys here and then you end up losing it should be really tough games and Shakhtar is at home which I think is a really good thing that is not an easy place to go <clears throat> can't st my voice is killing me today my throat, I mean. Shakhtar away is no fun. It really isn't. That's a tough, tough game. So that's great that that's at home. PSG at home as well. And you know what? I'm not even remotely worried about that one. The, the worry for me is actually Inter away. I think that's going to be the toughest game. I think in general, we've been given a pretty nice draw there. I would argue that in some other situations, bigger clubs from pot one have actually got tougher a tougher set of games than we have. So I'm relatively calm about this. If I was to predict these results, I think we'll beat PSG at home. However, I don't think we'll, it won't be easy. I, I'm not saying we can't win away from in Inter, but we're not going to win all eight games. And I think that's the one that will really potentially slip us up. So Inter away, maybe we go with a draw there. We'll beat Shakhtar at home. I'm fairly confident we'll go to Atalanta and win that, even though it's away from home. They're a good side, but we should be winning that. Dynamo at home, not a problem. Sporting away could be a little bit of a tricky one. They're, they're a good side. Monaco will beat at home, and I'm fairly certain that Girona, whilst they had a really good season last year, they've lost a few key players. Should be winnable, but I guess you never know. I'm going to predict six wins, one draw, one loss. That's probably what's going to happen and and do you know what if we win all eight I will sit here and eat this hat it's not going to be easy to win all eight of those but it's possible of course it is but let's have a look at the absolute mess this is what the Champions League looks like now sorry it's a Super League isn't it let's all be honest this is just a Super League now I've done my best to kind of sharpen the image and I've I've put these all together I mean, it, it is an absolute mess to look at, but I don't know how else they can do this. Basically, though, all the teams are listed on the left and just go across. And those are the games that your team or any of the teams that you're interested in looking in, those are the games they're going to have. Obviously, I'm not going to go through every single one here, but for me, the key ones that I'm looking out for are, of course, the top seeds. You know, Real Madrid, they're going to be playing Dortmund, Liverpool, Milan, Lille are in there as well, Atalanta. Man City got Inter, PSG, Juventus, some tough games there. Bayern have got PSG, Barcelona. Actually, I didn't see who Barcelona got. So they've got Bayern, Dortmund, Atalanta, Benfica. 
I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to ignore other teams, but of course, you're, you're going to pick out the main ones, aren't you? Leverkusen, who of course had a fantastic season, winning the Bundesliga unbeaten, have an absolutely horrific set of games there. Inter, Liverpool, Milan, Atletico Madrid, Feyenoord as well. Not easy. Who else should we take a look at? Milan have Liverpool, Madrid, Leverkusen, Girona. Again, I'm, I don't want to disrespect any clubs by skipping over them, but the big the big ones, you know. Uh, let's take a look at Celtic. So they've got Leipzig, Dortmund, Club Bruges, Atalanta, Young Boys. I mean, Aston Villa. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at them. Bayern. Uh, I was going to say Leicester. <laughs> Leipzig, Juventus, Club Bruges, Celtic, Young Boys, Bologna and Monaco. Do you know what? Aston Villa are going to struggle there, I think. But one of the most interesting ones, and I'm really sorry if you can't see it, what I can do is I can just try and zoom in a little bit. Um, Girona with Liverpool, PSG, Arsenal, Milan, Feyenoord, PSV. I mean, pfft, that's not easy at all. That really is not easy. Here is confirmation of the Arsenal one. And by the way, you've got home away, home away, home away, and home away. PSG, Inter, Shakhtar, Atalanta. Worth noting, we don't know when these games are. We don't know what order they're in. That will be coming out in the next few days, I believe. They're releasing the calendar afterwards, which am I the only one who thinks that's a little bit strange? Why would they do that? Why Why is this special software they've developed not being able to, to arrange that now? You're telling me that you couldn't just paste this into chat GPT and it wouldn't be able to, to organize dates and stuff like that. It's a bit of a stupid comparison, but surely they could have done that. And I guess a lot of it comes down to, you know, one thing that maybe we don't take into account is if there are um, some some games with bad blood and you obviously can't have two games going on in the city, in the same city that might need all the police. Honestly, it, it could be things like that that they worry about. You know, I can't imagine two games in one city going on where you've got two huge rivalries that aren't necessarily local rivals, but there's just bad blood, you know? Um, and of, of course, they need to make sure that maybe there's no clashing, no TV, right, TV rights issues. I don't know. I, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, but why not be able to, to do it on the fly? Who's going to win the, the Champions League this year? Who's going to do it? I think... The easy prediction would be to say that Real Madrid are going to win it again. And they've got Dortmund, Liverpool, Milan, Atalanta, Leo in there, like I said. It's not it's not unfathomable that they could drop a good amount of points there, but they have to be the favourites. Obviously, going into seed one, pot one, whatever you want to call it, you've got the favourite teams. Um, who, who are the dark horses I would have said Leverkusen, but I, I actually think they're going to struggle a little bit this season. And I mean this in the nicest way possible, but you can't <laughs> you can't do what they did again last season. The amount of luck they had. And look, I'm not taking anything away from Leverkusen. I loved, absolutely loved watching them last season. But the amount of last minute draws and winners is not sustainable. This season, they've already had one of those times in the league, but they won't get that sort of luck again. And I think a few players played out of their skin last season. They might not get the best out of all their players again. So for me, I don't expect Leverkusen to be one of the, the favourites here or even a dark horse. I feel like they're very beatable and I'm, I'm really sorry. I It's coming from someone who watched them a couple of weeks ago play against his own team. I saw Arsenal dismantle Leverkusen in pre-season. I know it's just pre-season. I think Milan, both Milan teams, but specifically AC Milan might be a little dark horse this season. Milan are one of those teams that on their day, if their talents turn up, you know, if you've got Leal at his absolute best down that left side, no one's stopping him. So maybe they could be a good shout. Um, who else could be potential... Is there anyone from the bottom group here? I wonder how Bologna are going to get on. They've obviously lost Motta, their coach, and they've lost a lot of their top players from last season, including, of course, a man with aura who has ended up at Arsenal, Calafiori, but they've lost Xerxes as well. Um, are Villa a dark horse? 
I guess they have potential to do pretty well. I, I, I'm i a big fan of Unai Emery. I know it didn't work at Arsenal, but if there's anyone that can get a, the best out of a team in Europe, it might actually be him. I think Dortmund might be right up there as well. I don't... It's, it's harsh to call them underdogs when they've done so well in the Champions League to reach finals and stuff like that. But um, I, don't, I don't really expect Dortmund to do that much, if I'm being brutally honest. Same with Bayern, to be honest. I, I feel like with um, company coming in, there's that kind of unknown uncertainty. I, I don't really know if he's going to get the absolute best out of them. He might, he might be incredible, though. But I guess... Um, what I really want to know, guys, is Arsenal fans, do you realistically think we can win all eight of these games? It isn't going to happen, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Just a quick video tonight going through the draw. Who is, for you, the standout team here that has the easiest run and that's going to blitz through these eight games? Which team is underrated, underdogs? But who is going to win the Champions League this season? It has to be Madrid or City, doesn't it? And Arsenal will be up there. I think we'll make it far. But um, if we do, does that mean we're going we're gonna to struggle in the league? I don't want to curse anything, so I'm not going to say anything. Thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you for Champions League Operation Arsenal episodes in just a few weeks.